going to play Crossword, television's most intriguing new fun game that everyone can play. Starring George Fenneman, with today's guest stars, Carolyn Jones and oh, Michael see. Landon. And here he is, that Crossword master himself, George Fenneman. Thank you. Thank you very much. And hello, everyone, and welcome to Crossword. Let's begin by meeting today's players, a fine actress who currently is um, seen as, I guess, the prettiest member of the Adams family, <laughs> Carolyn Jones. <laughs> and uh, Carolyn's uh, partner for this game is a uh, piano salesman, as I understand it, Ami Aloni. Ami? And uh, seated right next to me here is a young lady who is a teacher from Granada Hills, if my spies have told me correctly. And uh, her part, oh, your name, by the way, is Patty Knox. You knew that, didn't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, her partner, Little Joe from Bonanza, Michael Landon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and remember, you two teams are competing against each other. Remember the um, uh, star's partner of the team that wins uh, two out of three rounds gets to stay on. If you understand that, you're better than I am. <laughs> now the, uh, what, what they really mean is that you are the star's partner and you, Patty, are the star's partner. You get to stay on if you win the next round. You got he the... stays. He stays. And you stay too. You like that arrangement, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> see, but if you don't win, you go. She stays. I'm going. We may all leave, Jack. Uh, no. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get to work on our next uh, mystery crossword. This time, our puzzle will have uh, some clue words in it, which will help you identify a famous landmark. You ready? So we'll let you start, Carolyn. Your oh. team goes first. Well, let's see. Uh, I'll start with number 13 across. 15 across. 13 across. 13 across. Four letter word. Yes. The color of Jack Benny's eyes. Blue. Blue is yes. right. 13 <laughs> across. Which one? <laughs> oh. All right, uh, Ami. I'll try uh, 21 across. 21 across. Mm -hmm. A five-letter word. You can lose a lot of money on one of these. Well, if you lose, it's a nag. If you win, it's a horse. What are you going to take? Horse. Horse is a good idea, because that's what it is. That's 21 across, five-letter word, horse. 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 <laughs> That's the bonus word, and uh, you've won for yourself, uh, Ami, a Polaroid Land oh, camera. Didn't, didn't I? Well, you almost <laughs> didn't. Well, we were just sort of teasing you. I see. Weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to have to start looking over. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have let it go by. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, it's your turn, Carolyn. Uh, let's try one across, please. One across. Five letters, meaning solemn. Solemn. Uh, not gay. No. Solemn. Uh, solemn. Taciturn. No, that's no. too much. Four, five um, letters. Five. Solemn. Time is up. That's solemn. And that Michael Landon, it's your turn. I like 16 across. Well, do you want it? <laughs> Let him have 16 across, I guess. <laughs> we'll make up a new puzzle for you, Mike. Just uh, a minute. In, <laughs> in Hebrew, it happens to be 16 across. <laughs> no, let me see. Uh, what do you want? Uh, 19 across. 19 across. That's a six-letter word. The British once had this. Our money. <laughs> uh, let me the see. British still have this. The, the British still have... No, no, the, the British once had this. Oh. Word. Six letters. The British still uh, once had this. Time is up, and we're back to Ami Aloni. Quick there with my buzzer, baby. <laughs> what is it? Seven across. Seven across. Eight-letter word. One of the biggest defeats of all time. Um, Waterloo? Waterloo is correct, yes. Waterloo. Uh, <laughs> Carolyn? Oh, now hold it. This is getting important because it's very important that you do make a guess perhaps at this point. Yeah, that's right. Uh, famous landmark. Uh, Napoleon's grave. Napoleon's tomb, Napoleon's grave is correct. Yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> Say, I mean, that Waterloo alone was enough to give you the clue? No, but I had to guess. Besides, the horse is also a clue. The horse and Waterloo. And blue meant nothing to you, huh? Ah, uh, it did. Jack went his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to find a straight one here. <laughs> well, this is working out very well. We now have a tie in this game. I didn't mean it that way. Uh, you bought yourself a, a washer-dryer, which will probably make you very happy. What do you do for a living, uh... 
honey. I play the piano. I don't sell it. You play the piano? I had you selling piano. That's all right. I did that too once. Oh, well, then I wasn't lying. No, you, you're a player of piano, and I can play the washer dryer. <laughs> <laughs> now, we'll be back and uh, see who's going to stay on this show, <laughs> including myself, in just a moment. <laughs> <laughs>